A brief history of the town. At the end of the 19th century, the first settlers arrived in this region that today belongs to the province of Neoken. They were small farmers and ranchers. To communicate with and obtain supplies from the outside world, they had to travel on horseback either into Chile or to Bariloche, following the path along the Lago Nahuelhuapi. To encourage settlement, the Argentine government created the Nahuelhuapi pastoral colony, and the settlers were given lands under certain conditions. An Italian of great spirit and initiative called Primo Capraro arrived in the area, and he soon became the main developer of the region. He started life as a farmer, then built a sawmill, and after that a small hotel by the Correntoso River. The first contingent of tourists arrived in 1924. Capraro then extended his activities to Bariloche. In 1932, the post office and school number 104 were opened. On May the 15th of that same year, the radio telegraph office was created, whose building and equipment was paid for by the settlers. In that same building, the foundation stone of the village was also laid. The inhabitants had decided to name their village General Agustin P. Justo. However, the general declined the honour, and the village thus remained known as it still is today, Villa La Angostura, due to its location on the narrows, or isthmus, of the Quetriwe Peninsula. From then on, a lot of public and private building works was undertaken. Priority was given to tourism, and a particular style of architecture was adopted, a mountain style, created by the architect Alejandro Bustillo. The first development committee was created in 1947, and in 1955 the boundaries of the municipality were finally established. Vigilangostura has always been a destination for high-level tourism. In the 1970s, the telephone and television were installed at the same time as the Cerro Bajo ski resort was starting to be developed. At the Tourist Information Office, you will find information about the activities and walking excursions available in the area. The many walks, of different degrees of difficulty, will allow you to discover lovely waterfalls and the local flora and fauna.